Life ours. Your digital world. Secured. Hello and welcome to our educational video analysis of a recent Deer Cry ransomware sample. The Deer Cry ransomware has been used in current attacks related to the exploitation of Microsoft Exchange servers. Unlike others' ransomwares, Deer Cry is somehow special. It is very simple as we can see even by extraction of the embedded strings. There is no obfuscation, all strings are clearly visible. For example, the ransom note. The sample leaks some debug information about its origin, too. RSA public key is visible here, and also the list of file extensions. DearCry ransomware will probably encrypt files with these extensions. We will see later. As a next step, we can quickly identify capabilities in the analyzed sample with the COPPA tool. There is a lot of cryptography ciphers, hashes. And it is linked against OpenSSL cryptography library. Okay, move on, let's reverse engineer DearCry sample in IDA, Interactive Disassembler. By default, almost all functions are assumed to be regular, without known library functions. We can fix this by applying IDA's flirt signatures, for example, Microsoft Visual C runtime signatures identified more than 600 functions. But there is still very small portion of all functions. Recall that COPPA tool identified that this sample is linked against OpenSSL, and there are many strings containing the OpenSSL term. It seems that DearCry is statically linked against OpenSSL version 1.1. We can obtain the signatures for OpenSSL from the community-driven collection of IDA flirt signature files. They are available for a couple of common libraries. We will download and use two which fits most to our case, OpenSSL 1.1 compiled by Visual Studio 2008, as we saw in the extracted strings. With these two flirt signatures applied, we have identified more than 3,000 of library functions. Now it seems that only small portion of DearCry functions are custom, developed by authors of the ransomware. When we examine imports, they are mostly related to cryptography, because of dependencies of embedded OpenSSL library. On the other hand, there is only one exported symbol called start, which is the usual entry point of portable executable files. Now we are ready to begin with disassembling. Our objective is to understand what the analyzed program does and how it works. This is pretty standard start routine, with checking for MZ and PE executable headers, then parsing command line arguments and set environment variables. After that, near to the end of start routine, there is a call with three arguments. This is the main function of the programs developed in C or C++. The main function is not so complicated. It starts service control dispatcher, which connects the main service thread to the service control manager. The service related to this ransomware is called msupdate. Service main function is also simple, it registers service control handler for this msupdate service. And then, it calls yet unknown function, which will probably do some stuff. Back in main function, we can see that the same function for doing some stuff is called right after service dispatcher. It seems that this function will be responsible for all malicious things performed by this ransomware sample. Hence, it will probably do some ransomware stuff. Let's look into this ransomware stuff function. First interesting function is sub underscore 401000. It references the embedded RSA public key and creates string with hexadecimal representation of some values in loop. It actually creates a formatted string with hash value of RSA key. Next, do ransomware stuff function then prepares a formatted ransom note message and get list of logical drives of the infected machine. It searches for drives with letters between C and Z included, and all types of drive except C to ROM drive. After that, it passes each drive to the function sub underscore 401640, which will probably be responsible for encrypting drive or folder. Then, this ransomware stuff function drops readme txt file with the ransom note. And finally, the last call will delete service MS update, created by this ransomware previously. Okay, now we can change our approach and use bottom up methodology instead of top down. Do you remember crypt string? Let's see the cross references to this string. It is referenced only in one function, thus this function should be responsible for writing an encrypted file to disk. Let's examine this encrypt file function. RB plus mode means that the original file is open for updating. To be more specific, for reading and writing. The WB mode means, that file with crypt extension is open for writing. Hence, DearCry uses copy encryption instead of in-place encryption of files, and it is similar to the infamous SwanaCry ransomware. It uses OpenSSL for generating random key for symmetric encryption and encrypts this symmetric key with RSA using the embedded public key. Then, the encrypted symmetric key is written as a part of header of the encrypted file. So, what we actually have analyzed. 
it seems that the chain between start or main function and current encrypt file function is almost completely analyzed, except one function. Let's examine it. This time, a file is opened in read mode, and handle to this file is passed to another function. It reads first 8 bytes and compare them with a string dear cry. After that, it performs another checks. Therefore, it checks header and marker and verifies, if file is already encrypted by the ransomware. After this checks, the actual encrypt file function is executed depending on the results. So, we just analyzed another two functions, for checking files and dear cry markers before encryption itself. But we also see now, that the encrypt drive function calls itself recursively, and it seems that it will be rather function for encrypting folders instead of drives only. Let's dive into the encrypt folder function. It uses find first file and find next file API calls for searching files in current directory, and for files, it calls already analyzed encryption function. So far so good, there left only one not yet analyzed function. Quick look into it reveals that it is kind of report service status for indicating the service state. Now we have analyzed every regular function written by authors of the ransomware and we have pretty good understanding what this ransomware does and how it works. Of course, we can cross check our results with the results from the behavioral analysis previously performed in Sandbox. For example, here is encrypted file with the crypt extension and dear cry marker in its beginning. Also, file readme.txt contains the formatted ransom note message including the contact emails and hash of the RSA key. Last, but not least, if somebody is interested and wants to do his own analyze of Deer Cry ransomware, the analyzed sample is available on Malwarebazaar website. Thanks for watching and let's reverse engineer malware.